Yeah, well, devotion to me is not giving up. Like, to me, it's never an option, even when I wanted to end it all. When I met you, again, you were a cycle of your life where you wanted to end that part of your life. Yeah. You wanted to end that because yeah, through being with Steve, you then went into, you know, banking and like the whole corporate system, which again was like another sort of abusive system on you. And when I met you, you were at the end of that because that is violent on the body. That that system in itself is, is violent to yeah. the, the manhood. Well, it's, 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 it's debilitating and violent to not um, live your purpose mm. and to not know what your purpose is. And to yeah. not understand how to know your purpose. And yeah, so when I came out of university, I didn't have a job. So I, st I started going to temp agencies, learning, what, you know, I had to go to warehouses, and fold boxes, and just selling internet, knocking door to door. And then I came into finance, I was doing scanning documents. You know, I started really at the bottom. And then I started to into call centers and just really horrible stuff and then you know i, I started to get into uh, investments and payments and I, I you know i slowly climbed the ladder through tons of abuse narcissistic abuse from bosses and managers and colleagues and so this is key because even though you had a bad experience, so from receiving uh, violence, learn, you know, huge violence that it, it cracked your head open, you had to change life, and then you were learning a different way of self defense, but then you went into this other realm of, of violence to not live your sole purpose. Yeah, and then survival. coming to the end of that and yeah. realizing, well, what, what else is available? because you've been met by violence through many different cycles of your life, and then you're coming to the end of that cycle of violence. Again, like that internal violence and having to choose for something different. <laughs> so really we're being rained on. So I want to share, like, the, the message of this is, is the transformational journey of the endurance that no matter what happens, if you keep recognizing within yourself where you are not meeting that place of pure love within you, that you have the power to change that, that you have the power, like that power that drove you to survive through all of that violent experience has been, I recognize in you, has also been your fuel for incredible transformational power. Yeah. And, and this is really key. Yeah, and it, and it gives me medicine because violence is poison. It's the, it's the poison of uh, false brotherhood. Mm. And, uh, it, but it's what it does. You know, every poison has its, tr has its truth. And it's the truth is, of violence, it's, the, it's, well, It's, it's power through survival yeah. and what it's given me is the ability to help other men, yeah. to help yeah. other men heal the violence in their life and, and women. Yeah, because you helped me heal the violence of, of um, me being a uh, victim to narcissistic abuse from men. You also helped me with that. Yeah, and I've spoken to many women recently and in the past who have suffered uh, malignant physical abuse, you know, being punched in the face by, uh, by a man. Yeah. I mean, that's horrific. Yeah. You know, I've never, I've never, never done that. I've never crossed that line. I've been violent and abusive um, in my words towards women in the past. And that's something I've had to heal deeply, but I've, I've never lifted a, a hand against a woman. But I, I, I think that's really, you know, crossing the line, that's really dark. Yeah.